Hello, friends, how are you? I still haven't worked out my opening. What I'm gonna call you. Hello, guys, it's me, Nikki. Hello, guys, it's me, Nikki. No. Hello, DIY friends. Hello, DIY friends. No. No. Hey, guys, what's up? <laughs> okay. This is it. This is the official first video on this channel. I am sitting here a ball of nerves. I don't know why I film videos all the time for my other channel, but today, God, your girl, the nerves got me. <laughs> um, I think it's just cause, like I said in my introduction video, it's just diving into a whole new world that I'm not familiar with that I've never dipped my toes into before. And it's got me a little shaken, but we are moving full swing ahead with this new channel. I have so many things to show you and to do with you and to, <sighs> it's all really overwhelming. It is gorgeous out today. So I have the door wide open. The breeze is coming in. It's spring. Today is the first day of spring. I know you're seeing this on the second day of spring, but today is the first day of spring and I can't wait. Okay. <clears throat> so hello. <laughs> If this is your first time here, which is probably the situation because this is the first ever official video. Um, hi, hello, my name is Nikki and this is my channel, The Cheapo Chateau, where we make cheap look good. So today we are kicking off the channel with a kitchen decor and organization haul. The reason that I am kicking my channel off with this is because my kitchen has been in full chaos mode um, for the last two weeks because I am doing a kitchen flip that I can't wait to show you. It is over halfway done right now. We are painting cabinets. We are refinishing the countertops. We are organizing. We're decoring. We're adulting this kitchen. <laughs> and I'm really excited to show you. So I thought beforehand, I could show you some of the things that I got that are going to go in this brand new, beautiful kitchen that I really hope comes together all like I see in my mind's eye. <laughs> so I have been thrift shopping. I have been dollar store hopping. I have been um, Ikea hopping, shopping hauling uh, and I have been Amazoning. I have a lot of stuff to show you today. Now, originally when I started the idea to do this particular video, um, I was going to show you absolutely everything that I picked up because I did also pick up things for the rest of my house, but I thought, oh my gosh, for a first video on the channel, you're going to be here for two hours. It all may be a little long anyways. <laughs> Um, but I'm only going to show you the stuff that I got for the kitchen and I got some really cool stuff that I'm really excited. I don't know if I'm going to use all of it, but I do want to show you what I got anyway. Some of it is really cool. Some of it is quite hilarious. Um, yeah, that's a long intro. Welcome. Let's get into the haul. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I think it probably makes most sense if I go like place by place. So I have this massive blue reusable Ikea bag beside me that is overflowing with stuff. <laughs> so I figure we might as well start there. So welcome to the first part of the video, the Ikea kitchen decor and organization haul. <laughs> Let's just, let's just look. Okay. So, um, first of all, I need to explain to you what my kitchen looked like. Um, I was a total bonehead and forgot to film like a proper, like before video. We had those really old or, uh, laminate cabinets with that gorgeous sticky wood handle at the bottom. Um, it had to go, it's from the 80s, 90s, and I'm just, I was over it. I was over it, this is the second place that I've been in that's had those, I have changed them in both cases because I just 
couldn't handle it. It was very dark, it just felt dated and old and kind of grimy and it needed a complete refresher. So we are redoing the kitchen in this bright, beautiful white um, with some black accents, a couple, you know, uh, red accents because my kitchen has always kind of been and I love I love the color red. It is my favorite color. Uh, so I like the little pops of red, but not to like an overwhelming extent. Um, and then just a couple other little accents here and there of, of color just to kind of bring it some life and some texture and that kind of thing. So the first thing that I got that I want to show you is it's one of the cheap ways that you can kind of like make a space look nicer is to get some fresh new towels. And it may seem like something really simple, but when you just switch out something like a dish towel, it just kind of makes the space look a little cleaner and nicer. So um, we got just these simple white and um, black towels from Ikea. These were super cheap. I think they were four something, $4.99 maybe uh, for two of them, which in my opinion is pretty good. They seem like they're really good quality. So I'll let you know. Um, so we are going to check out these and see how they do. Uh, I'll probably not use the white one as much. You know, they'll be for decoration. But anyways, um, so those are the first thing I got uh, are some towels. I also have some new dishcloths coming that are just plain black. I'm sick of bleaching all of my stuff, all of my dishcloths and stuff like that. So uh, I just went with black so they don't show any of the dirt and they go with the kitchen as well. So thing number one, the next thing that I got that I have wanted to pick up from Ikea in quite some time. Now, I don't know about you guys, but unless you've really revamped your space or your kitchen or reorganized, you probably have a zillion of those spice jars that don't match that come from the store. Just look really like kind of messy and not kind of put together and well thought out. So I got three packs of these Ikea Ehardig. <laughs> Can anybody actually pronounce any of these um, that doesn't live over there? Um, anyway, so these are them. It's a four pack of these really nice clear um, spice jars with the black lid. They have the, you know, larger side on one side, the smaller side on the other. You know, it's a typical standard thing. So anyway, I bought four, uh, three packs of these that I'm going to decant all of my spices into and then Later on, you'll see the new little situation that I'll be displaying them in. Um, but I just like the idea of having just a uniform look and I have some really cool, they're not here yet. I wish they had arrived um, in time for me to do this video, but alas, Amazon was a little bit backed up, I guess, last week. So um, we're still waiting on these, but really cute little decals that I totally paid too much for. I will totally admit that sometimes you just got to splurge on what you want. And there was a lot of like, the little decals that were on Amazon, but I was kind of like meh with some of the fonts and stuff. But this particular one, I just fell in love with the font. So I did splurge a little bit and I really hope that it ends up looking like I wanted to, but I will eventually show you that. You'll probably see that in like the final, here's the, you know, kitchen look. <laughs> My neighbors are doing construction today. That's so convenient. Anyway, so that's the uh, next thing I got. I don't remember how much I paid for these. I'll insert uh, the, the photos of things and so you like the ones from Ikea at least and Amazon so you know how much I paid for these things but they were super cheap and so I got those. <laughs> okay, the next thing I got doesn't really go with my kitchen colors but it will be something that is uh, put away <laughs> anyway so it really doesn't matter like what color it is but i thought it was super super handy um such a great thing now i know this is nothing new to anybody else but i didn't have one of these previous so it is simply a cheese grater you have the small grate on that side the larger grate on this side but what's really cool about this is that um there's a lid and you can just kind of like grate your cheese in there a whole block if you want put the lid on pop it in your fridge and it's already done, it's ready for you. And I think that is such a cool idea. I know it's something so simple, um, but I think we all just need more of these like well thought out items in our in our house. So it will replace that big clunky like handheld cheese grater that I have that just never seems to fit anywhere. And it's nice and sleek and can just sit on my shelf and look pretty 
or not. <laughs> and uh, anyway, so I thought that was really cute. So that's another thing I picked up at Ikea. Okay. I had to shut the door because like four different neighbors started like, I don't know, ripping off roofs and renovating. <laughs> and I can feel a saw next door through the floor. It's vibrating. That's so great. Okay. Uh, welcome to spring. <laughs> Anyway, so the next thing I got was these um, with my new countertop. I want to make sure that I protect them. These are super awesome. I think they were like a dollar something each. I could be wrong. I probably am. Uh, but they are the Gunsting. I feel like half the, the, the video is going to be laughing at me trying to pronounce these names. Ugh. Anyway, so they are just these silicone mats. They're double sided. They have little grippies on them. Um, so it's something that if you needed to or wanted to, you could really leave them on your counter um, or even on your stovetop um, to set pots and pans on. They can also be folded to use uh, for picking up pans out of the oven or whatever. I thought they were just really versatile. I love things that have dual purpose and uh, these definitely do. So I grabbed two of these. Um, they match the decor and they're super useful. So there's those. <laughs> so the next thing I picked up that everybody has seen, this is an Ikea product that everybody raves about. I have been wanting this system for a long time. And with this new kitchen renovation update, whatever we're calling it. Um, I think it was a perfect opportunity for, for me to be able to utilize this particular system. So um, I went ahead and got, <clears throat> what is it called? What is it called? The Fintor, which I am sure a lot of you have, or if you uh, haven't, if you don't have it yourself, you've probably seen it. So it is basically just this rail system and you can use it in your kitchen or bathroom or um you know in a kid's room for hanging cups on to put crayons in and that kind of thing um and then it has all these different accessories that you can so you get these little hooks and then the hooks obviously hang on the rail and then there's all kinds of different accessories that you can use um so i got this one so that i can put um I don't know. I'm not really entirely sure, to be honest, what I'm going to put in these. I think what I would like to do is not have so much stuff on the back of my um, my stove, because you know how we all set like the salt and the pepper and the, you know, the olive oil and all that. I didn't really want it sitting out there anymore. So I thought this would be a great thing to put, um, you know, my salt and my pepper and my olive oil and things that I reach for constantly when I'm cooking. Um, and then it's just easily accessible. It's up off of a surface and it doesn't look so cluttered. So that's what I'm gonna use this long um, hanger for, this long container for. And then I also got this smaller one. Uh, it's a little bucket, super cute. It's kind of got that farmhouse vibe, um, which is a sort of what my kitchen is kind of starting to look like, more modern farmhouse without all the, the letters on everything because I'm not really super into that look. Um, but I do like the look of like the modern farmhouse kitchen. Uh, so that's sort of what we're going with. Um, and I thought this would fit in perfectly. So I'm really excited to get that hung up and get some organization and flow going in the kitchen. Okay. The next thing I picked up were these. I've been eyeballing these forever and I think they're just such a good buy. They were super cheap again i will put uh the photo of the ikea website so you guys know how much and these are all in canadian dollars because yes again i am in canada um and they are just these simple containers that they have a little dip in the front there just to make things uh, more easily accessible um the price on these is crazy i was super super excited about them and um so i'm going to be using these probably I think in my fridge, my fridge needs some organization. I have an extremely small, so we moved in here. The appliances are rather old. They're probably original. <laughs> and the fridge actually doesn't even fit in there. It's too small. It's almost an apartment size fridge. Therefore, we have a lot of issues with fitting the things that we need. We are um, a family of four living at home. So my two boys are still at home. They are 11 and 13. And then there's myself and Jordan. And for a family of four, the size of fridge is just not ideal. Um, but until we can, um, you know, get something larger, I just need some sort of organization in there. So I think these are really going to help. Um, 
uh, probably for like fitting condiments or things like that, or even our produce. Um, I don't know about you guys, but <laughs> you know that space in the bottom of your fridge, the crispers? I don't know, I don't know what everybody else calls them. I call them crispers. I don't really know why. Oh, because it keeps things crisp? <laughs> Is that it? I don't even know. Anyway, um, so we call that here where good intentions go to die. And what I mean by that is that we buy like, <laughs> we're like, we're going to get healthy. We're going to eat vegetables and fruits and be super healthy people. But then inevitably, all of these super healthy options get stuffed in these crispers and completely forgotten about. And full disclosure, <laughs> We brought groceries home the other day and we were putting them away and I'm looking for a place for my new good intentions and I opened the crisper and liquid was sloshing in the bottom and if you've ever left a cucumber in your crisper for too long and then buried it underneath a bunch of other stuff, you know what happens. If you don't, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'll spare you the gory details. It's disgusting. Anyways, so, so there's this liquidy gelatinous mess and I'm over it. So what I wanted to do was kind of have a system where I could put things in and if something does happen to go by the wayside, this is much easier just to pop out, rinse down. It's plastic, they're super easy to clean and I just kind of thought that might be a better option. Now let's hope we don't have to get there to the point where I'm having a whole bunch of stuff rotting on me all the time. I'm trying. I told you this channel, I was gonna keep it real and that's what we're doing. Um, so I also got these other ones that I thought were really awesome. They're the same sort of system, but these ones have the black on the inside and the white on the outside. Now something just kind of screamed to me, you need to pick these up as well. They kind of went with the kitchen. You could even put these out on your countertops with some of your spices in it or god knows whatever you want oh you know be, what would be really cool is if this was sitting on the i might do that with you know your soap your sponge and they're just like really aesthetic looking to me um they look a little bit more you know higher end than or put together than uh just some cheap plastic thing with that black inside. I don't know what it is, but it's green to me. And so I'm definitely going to be utilizing them. I picked up three with the intention of probably going back for more because I really, really like these. I just love the look of them. So there's those. Okay. I actually think that was all of the kitchen stuff that I got at Ikea. Uh, I, like I said, I did pick up a whole bunch of other stuff as well, but we are redoing quite a few spaces in the home right now so you'll have to wait for those particular flips to see the other stuff that I got so let's go ahead and move on to Amazon because I got some pretty cool stuff from Amazon uh, I will definitely link that down in the description um, of the video I do have an Amazon storefront that is originally for my plants pots channel uh, but I am going to kind of like be making that Amazon storefront over a little bit so that there is a section for all of my um, stuff from this channel as well. Okay, this first thing that I need to show you <laughs> was one of those things. So I really try to not be vulgar on camera. I don't find it necessary. There is so many other words in the English language that I could choose to use for distressing situations and cursing uh, on camera is not one of those. However, I will say <laughs> that I do like to drop the occasional cuss word. And this, when I saw this particular product, it screamed Jordan and I. Let me show you. <laughs> Hang on, I gotta block out a word. Okay, so it is this adorable little clear it's like a frosted glass bottle with a black top um this top actually matches um the soap uh dispenser that i got that will be going with this as well but i couldn't pass this one up so let me show you what it says ugh wash your bleeping hands guys <laughs> i laughed so hard put it in my cart and checked out <laughs> Um, and I was really surprised. Normally when you find things like this, they're like not well made. They're just novelty things. But when this arrived, I was like, 
wow, like it's actually fairly well constructed. It's glass glass. It looks really nice. This top part is plastic, but it does feel really sturdy. And what I thought was a really cool touch is they also give you this cute little funnel that I can't open. Like how adorable is that? It just like flattens up. So not only is that great for like refilling bottles and stuff like this, but you could wash this and use it for like anything. Thank you people that made this seemingly novelty soap dispenser for the really cool little silicone funnel that I will probably use for everything. You can use this to like refill your uh, spice jars and your salt and pepper shakers and your condiments and the possibilities are endless. And I didn't even pay for this. I paid for this. Anyway, thought I'd show you that first because I thought this was really, really cute. And it just kind of adds that little like touch of us into the kitchen. <laughs> Cause you know, there are people that live here, right? <laughs> anyway, it's cute. So going along with that, the next thing I picked up was these amber bottles. They're really, really cute. Um, one of the things that just takes your decor and your home to the next level is trying to eliminate a much, as much packaging as you can. So in order to get that soap bottle off of the counter, like the dish soap, um, a really great way of just giving your kitchen that extra little something is to decant your dish soap into uh, a, a more aesthetic type bottle. So I went with these amber glass bottles because I thought they were really sleek. They're really nice looking um, and it's going to bring those little warm, warm pops of color into the kitchen uh, just to kind of like tone down the, the coolness uh, of all of the white. So I thought that was a really cool option. I think it's going to look really pretty sitting on my counter beside my other one. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited to see how this is going to look. Um, I think it's going to look fantastic. And this is also really well made. This is a really, really sturdy plastic. Um, I did do my research. Every time I order anything off Amazon, I always, always, always read the reviews. Um, if that is one thing that I tell everybody uh, about any of my Amazon purchases, do your research. It takes no time. Click on the reviews, read some of them, save yourself some headache and some money. Read your reviews. Okay, enough with the TED Talk. Let's move on to the next thing. Okay. The next thing I am super excited about, and these would have already been installed by now, but I wanted to show you guys. So they are these little light bars. So there's three of them that come in a package and they are under cabinet lighting. They are also motion censored, which I really like. Um, I had actually had some um, like under cabinet lighting that I was actually using for some of my plant shelves. And I had originally installed those underneath there, but they are corded and I just couldn't make it happen in a way that you couldn't see the cords. They were like, it just looked awful, not put together and messy. And I didn't want anything. I wanted clean, not cluttered. And that just wasn't the way to go. So of course I did what we do and we hop on Amazon and we look for a better option. Um, so there are some options that are really pricey, but these ones are really reasonable. And it, I like that it came in three, which is how many I needed. You can find like one or you can find like, you know, two or six or whatever. But this was one of the only ones that came in three, which was great. So they are USB rechargeable, uh, which is great. And so they have this little switch and depending on the mode, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to see that, but I will try. So depending on which option you choose, you can have like always on, you can have off, and then you can have the motion detector um, activated as well. They're a nice clean, uh, bright white, uh, as opposed to like your soft light, which is what I wanted in there. I don't like that yellow soft light in the kitchen. Um, I want it nice and bright and, and airy and spacious. And so um, that was another tricky part about finding lights for the kitchen. And <clears throat> as you will see in my cabinet renovation video, um, we do have a light in the kitchen. It's really cute. It matches, it's black, and it's got that frosted white look. So I was, but it's got that like, that warm white light and I don't like that in the kitchen. So I went to change it out and lo and behold, 
it's actually, I've never seen this before. It's actually this little plate of LEDs. So it's like built into the, I was so disappointed. I know it's just lighting. I know it's just lighting, but lighting can completely change the look of your space. And I was really, really upset that I couldn't do anything about this warm white light in my kitchen. So I thought this would be a great alternative. Um, so there's nothing else I could do about it. If I owned this home, it would be a totally different scenario. That sucker would be ripped off the wall and there would be a new fixture going in there. But because I rent, I want to do as many things that are rental friendly as possible. Although I do have amazing and wonderful landlords that don't mind if I put a little paint here or a hole there or whatever. Um, I didn't want, like I'm not going, I'm not changing light fixtures and that kind of stuff. So we have to work with what we have and that's what I have. So this is what I went with. Really excited to get these up and they're not up yet because I wanted to show you first. Moving on. Okay, this needed to happen. Um, if you guys are watching this channel, there is a likelihood that you potentially watch organization videos. Now, these are videos that I have been binge watching lately because when I tell you that my cupboards and closets and drawers need organizing, <laughs> it's an understatement. It's a problem. So I think the majority of the rest of the stuff that I'm going to be showing you today, I think is all organization stuff, organization items. Yeah. Um, so I'll try to fly through these fairly quickly. I know this video is getting a little bit long. So the first thing that I got, which to me is ingenious. I love this. Um, you see these a lot in like actual stores and stuff like that, but it is simply this uh, can organizer. So it just sits on your shelf or in your pantry and you put all of your canned goods on there. And as you take one, they kind of roll down. Um, and then when you add new ones, you can add them to the back so that you're constantly cycling out the old with the new. And then you don't have really expired, you know, canned goods sitting in your cabinet, which I, this is so embarrassing. But again, I already said we're keeping it real on this channel. So when I was cleaning out my cupboards in order to paint them, I found a couple canned goods from 2007. For those of you not watching this, when it comes out, it's 2021. <laughs> now to give you an idea, I have moved, I think at least five times. One, two, three, four times since 2007. I have carried those cans with me. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> exposing myself. Um, so I thought this was wonderful. Not only does it organize everything where you can see everything, it's neat, it's tidy, um, but it does give you the ability to kind of rotate your stock and make sure that you're not just cramming older items into the back of your pantry. I love this. I bought one just to make sure it would fit the space, but there is an extreme likelihood that I will go ahead as long as this fits and buy one or two or three more of them. <laughs> Another thing that I constantly struggle with is all of the packaging, all of the packaging for the pasta. I mean, how many bags of pasta do you guys have sitting in your cabinets? You know, you use a little bit of it, you don't use it all, so you wrap that elastic around it or, you know, you clip it off or whatever, you stick it in there. Inevitably, something happens. <laughs> the elastic falls off, the clip falls off, and then you go to move it and pasta ends up all over your cupboards, all over your counter, all over the floor. <sighs> so I wanted to kind of decant some of my products that I could into other containers that aren't as messy. So I picked up, oh, I've switched to thrifting at this point. <laughs> I don't know how that happened. Anyway, um, so I picked up a bunch of different containers like this. I think I've got four of them uh, with different colored lids. This one happens to be white. And I'm going to use these for different pastas, cereals, um, baking items like flour, salt, sugar, 
all of those kinds of things. It looks much cleaner in your space and it's much more tidy and less easy to make a mess with. So instead of having those bags that could potentially flop open, you have this container that's sealed. If you need something, you pop the lid open, it snaps shut, it locks so you're not creating messes. I love that. I know this is not revolutionary by any stretch of the imagination, but um, I'm just I'm just telling you what we're doing here. That's what we're doing. Okay. <laughs> The next thing I found was another thing that I am going to be using to organize some of my uh, smaller items in the kitchen. And one of the main things being my kids' school snacks or the protein and the power bars that we have um, here at the house because there's so many boxes of like granola bars and protein bars and all of these things. <sighs> It drives me nuts. So um, I picked up these at, I think it was the Dollar Tree actually. And they're just these little trays. They're, I mean, that's it, there's nothing to them. But I will tell you that granola bars um, and protein bars fit perfectly in here. So you can just take them out of the packaging. Again, we're eliminating all of that messy, unorganized looking packaging. And we are using containers and we're putting them in here and they're easy to grab at. The other thing I love about all of these different options is that it gives you the ability to see what you have left, which <laughs> we have, I've already switched over our cereal and I can tell you right now that has worked. I know this is something so incredibly small that really wouldn't seem to make a big difference, but my kids eat cereal every morning and they are constantly running out or one of them will eat the rest of it and the other one is complaining because there's no more cereal left so it's always like a struggle with cereal so using these clear containers so you can see when you're getting low when you're not the one eating it all the time was <laughs> i haven't heard a fight about cereal in two weeks that in itself is worth the dollar that i paid for this <laughs> I would have paid $20 for that. Anyway, so it's really handy when you, when you can have these containers that you can see what you have left. You, you know, can quickly, when you're making your grocery list, scan through your pantry or your cupboards and go, oh, that's uh, almost out. I need that. Nope, we've got enough of that. Makes everything so much easier. And in this day and age, when everybody's on the go, everybody's busy, Saving all of those little bits of time really add up. So this was a great way that I could do that. Okay, moving on to the next item. Guys, one of the biggest annoyances, <laughs> I'm gonna keep saying this because all of these things happen, that is my kitchen is my pots and pans. They're clunky, the lids get everywhere, they're loud, they're obnoxious, and I never know how to situate them so that they're easy to access and convenient. So I picked up from two different places actually. Oh, here, you wanna know something really stupid? When you are thrifting or especially Value Village, they're notorious for this. So we went to Value Village first. That was a mistake. So I went to Value Village and I picked up this little organizer. So this can be used for a multitude of different things. You can uh, set it up this way and depending on your space, put your pans in here. Uh, you can put your lids in here. You can use this for so many different things um, and I definitely will be. So this was marked for $4.99 not a bad price or something like that right like it's really well built it's really sturdy um I was actually quite impressed with the the sturdiness of it so after we were done at Value Village I went to Dollarama guys do you see the price on that it's 350 <laughs> it's exactly the same one so in case you were wondering, this is what a $4.99 organizer <laughs> looks like. And this is what a $3.50 organizer looks like. I quit. 
Anyway, so I'm excited to get those in. Um, you can also use those uh, because those ones are extremely sturdy. Even if you wanted to sort, if you have limited space in your cabinets, uh, you can use those for storing plates more vertically as well. And then they're easily uh, accessible by the plate size. Just throwing it out there. There are so many different uses that could be for those. Um, now beforehand I had found this one it is smaller um, so I, I picked it up anyways because um, it's meant to be a dish rack number one that's not what I'm going to use it for um, but I will find a use for this one as well it's just not as sturdy so I can't use it for anything super heavy but we'll put it to good use as well okay the next thing that I got uh, I got a lot of these actually um, and they are all just baskets <gasps> we're making messes here folks so they're all baskets i got uh gray black and white all in different sizes in different textures and that kind of thing and these are going to be used in my fridge as well as my uh, cabinets for organizing things so for example i'm going to take all of my baking supplies and these are big enough that they do fit in my cabinet um, but they're big enough to hold all the things that I need them to hold. So in here is going to go, um, you know, my vanilla, my icing sugar, uh, which will be decanted into one of my fancy little containers, my brown sugar, my white sugar, and all the things that I could use, um, like my cake decorating stuff. And it will all be in one convenient place so that if I am baking, I don't need to dig through my cupboards. I can pull this entire bin out, set it on the counter, use whatever I need and then just put it back. It's revolutionary. <laughs> it's not. This is just so new to me. And um, with being so busy before when I had my nine to five job, I just didn't have time for, you know, <laughs> an organization situation. Really, that would have been the time that I really needed a more organized situation because it would have saved me so much. Um, but I'm really glad that I am getting on board now and cluing in because 41 years old, I'm due. <laughs> it's never too late to get your shit together, you know? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, I got a bunch of different heights. This one is a little bit lower so it can be used in smaller uh, spaces. Um, these white ones will probably be used more so in my, um, fridge. These ones are really cool. I don't know where these are from, but I got these at Value Village and this one has holes in the bottom of it, which I thought would be super great for anything that needs like, you know, air flow. Um, and then there's this one as well that I probably am going to use for milk bags. Easily accessible and inevitably, yes, in Canada, we have milk bags. We don't have milk containers. I know it's weird for you guys to see milk in a bag, uh, but it's it's how we do milk. So anyway, <laughs> um, all the time in my fridge, somebody will use the last bag of milk and then leave the outer bag, the three little bags and the little clippy that comes on the bag sitting on the shelf. I don't know why, it drives me nuts. So now when I bring my milk home, I can take the bags out of the bag and just put them in here. And then when they're gone, they're gone. And there's no residual bags left in my fridge. I'm excited about that. It's an exciting time. Guys, we are almost to the end. If you are still here, thank you so much. <laughs> I know this was a lot to unpack, no pun intended, um, but there's a lot of stuff here. <laughs> So when I edit, I will try to make this as condensed as possible, but we're almost there. So the next thing I got, I picked these up from the Dollar Tree. Um, and so the drawers that I have in my kitchen for my utensils and cookware and towels, etc., are narrow. They're, they're not the wide ones that most people have in their home. I don't know why this house is wonky the kitchen it should be in an apartment and like it's an apartment type setup in a larger kitchen it's weird anyway so um i had originally picked up this really nice uh kitchen organizer from canadian tire it was gorgeous it was beautiful 
it was everything that my heart wanted <laughs> for a utensil holder in my <sighs> This is, this makes me a little bitter. It was perfect with one exception. I brought it home, went, it doesn't fit in my dress. <laughs> anyway, I got a really, uh, I got it on sale, so I'm not going to return it. I'm going to keep it for when, you know, years down the road we move and you know, it's not in style anymore and I want something new. Um, I'll save it for that house. <laughs> But these I found at the Dollar Tree instead, and they are narrow. And then I have four of them here that I can fit into the, um, the drawer for all of my utensils. And I always have all of these little bits and pieces of things in my drawer as well, like my corn cob holders, if you know what I mean. Some people seem to know what those are and some people don't. They're these little jabby things that you stick on the ends of your corn cob. Um, so you don't have to hold the corn and get it all, you know, greasy. Um, some of you are like, why are you explaining that? I'm explaining it because you would be surprised at how few people know that those exist. Anyway, so I thought these two little ones were kind of cute because you can set them in here. Um, and then put all of your little things, elastics. I use elastics all the time with my plant stuff. Um, also with, uh, you know, in the kitchen. Um, but all the little dinky things can sit in there and then it's all contained. It's not going to be all over the place and it's not going to be, you know, fighting my utensils for space. And uh, I thought that was really cute and they fit. I checked. <laughs> so there's those. Okay. Another issue that I seem to run into is that, you know, when you set things on a shelf and then this the shelves are taller so that there's this wasted space and it's not always ideal to stack cans because i don't know about you but i knock cans off the top of other cans none of them sit seem to fit quite perfectly together unless they're the same can so risers are an amazing option not only for your cabinets in your pantry but also stuff underneath your kitchen or bathroom sink um, kitchen and bathroom sinks, there's a lot of space under there, but like the top half of it is completely underutilized and a great way to utilize that space is by using risers. So these, um, ones I picked up at Value Village, uh, they're two little black ones. <clears throat> these ones are rather short. Um, so that's not where I'm going to be using these. I just wanted to show you and I picked them up because I'm sure I can use them somewhere. So for $5.99, they're metal. They're super sturdy. Don't know what their original design was. Um, but they give you space underneath as well as on top. That's not a good option for the kitchen. So let me show you these ones instead. Uh, so there's a couple different types here. This one I found at, I think it was Dollarama maybe. Um, and the reason that I liked this one, number one, it's white. It's nice looking. It's got these little grippy dots. So when you're setting something on top of here, it's not going to slide around as much. And it also has the grips on the bottom. Whereas something like, these are all stuck in here. See these? <laughs> they do have the plastic knobs on the end, but they're just metal on top. So they really can, uh, you know, things can slide around on top. So these I thought were really great. So I bought both and I'm going to see how they work. I wish these were a little bit bigger, but it might actually work in my favor that they're not quite that big. Anyway, I am so excited to organize my kitchen. I don't even know. I just need to get all the painting done first. Oh God, <laughs> it needs to be over. Okay, and the last things that I picked up were these really cute little jars that uh, we talked before how I'm gonna decant a lot of things so that they are in nicer containers. Uh, so I picked up these, they're really cute. Um, now the um, little seal thing is off of them so that glass really slides around. But I did pick up these which I got on Amazon and they're just replacement like O-rings or whatever. I don't know what they're actual. Let's say what they're actually called. Silicone jar gaskets. We're professional here. Um, to go on there just so they don't slide around. But I thought the jars were super cute and I didn't want to not buy them just because of that. I knew I could find something that would work. Even if it's just a rubber band, that would have helped. Um, 
Anyway, so these are gonna be for like my sugar, like my brown and white sugar. And then these ones are gonna be for stuff that I have a little bit more of. Um, don't really know yet. Oats maybe, or my icing sugar, that will probably go in this one. And then, you know, it's another scenario. We have those in the cupboards. You're not opening it and it's like a whole bunch of packaging that's, you know, confusing. It's clean, it's aesthetic, it's organized. And that's what we're going for. <laughs> so I think that's pretty much all I'm going to show you today. There is a few other things that I got. Everything's a little bit all over the place right now because my kitchen is torn apart. Everything is everywhere. <laughs> um, but make sure you check out my whole kitchen DIY uh, series because you'll see all these things eventually implemented and how all of this comes together and I am jazzed. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for sitting through this video. Uh, this was the first time I've done really a haul like this. I've done plant hauls, but this, this is different. This was a very different vibe for me. So if it was a little awkward, I do apologize. Um, I will get into the groove of this, this type of <laughs> video eventually um anyway so i will wrap it up i will let you get back to your regularly scheduled programming whatever that happens to be i hope you have an amazing rest of your sunday if you're not subscribed please consider doing so i have so much coming up my entire kitchen reno project the first video will be up next Sunday. I think we're going to make Sundays the upload day for this channel. Um, Fridays are my uploads for my plant channel. And uh, if you are here for the decor and you don't know about my plant channel, and if you happen to be a plant lover, by all means, go check out my other channel. The link is down in the description box below. It is plants, pots, and whatnots. And we talk about all the house plant thingies. Um, but so that those videos come out on Friday and I think it makes more sense as far as my schedule and my sanity goes to put these videos out on Sunday. So I think that's going to kind of be the thing that may change over time. I don't know. But for right now, that makes sense to me. Maybe to nobody else, but it makes sense in my brain. So that's what we're going to do. Um, anyway, gosh, Tanja Nikki is in the house. I will go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you so much for liking and watching and commenting and subscribing. I love you all to bitty bits and I will see you in the next video. Mwah!